Hey dudes, what's up, Apple Assassin here, and welcome back to another video today. I'm gonna count down the top 10 Guylanders I think you should get because there's actually quite a lot of them. Like, I know, like, all together there's like a thousand, but, um, I'm just gonna, um, tell you guys their names and show you them and think that what you should get. So, first Guylander. Num number ten. Um, uh, I I really forgot what his name was again, but I think it's like stump, stump, stump smash. Yeah, so stump smash because because you can actually upgrade them. Yeah, you can actually upgrade them to um. Like, you can actually give him loads of upgrades, and plus, he can, like, stomp faster than the other Skylanders. So, so Stump Smash is one you should get, because he's, uh, he's actually a life Skylander. So, I recommend getting him, because you can power him up, you can fight with him, you can do anything. Plus, he's my favourite as well, so, recommend get that. So, number nine. Jetfuck. So Jetfuck is actually a cool Skylander. You get him with the starter pack, the the giant starter pack, and you can also get him single as well. But um, the thing about Jetfuck is that he can actually he can actually like fly with his jet jetpack. Like if you guys haven't played as him before, then he can actually fly with his jetpack because I have I've I flew with him before. Loads of times, like probably like ten or or even fifty, because that's how long I've been playing Skylander for. And plus, he's actually pretty awesome because he does um cool. He does cool moves. He can shoot from his um like vacuum or whatever the hell he has the jet vac thing. So he can actually shoot very good with this. Like you can actually put hold like the X button on. The Xbox 360 controller, and you can like hold, and then you can shoot out like a vacuum or air or whatever. And you can also suck like things into the vac as well, like this. So basically, yeah, and it can go into the vac. So it's actually he's actually pretty cool. Recommend getting him. He's my favorite as well. Recommend getting him. So and plus he's plus he's in the air. He's in the air side. So. Next off, number eight, lightning rod. Because so lightning rod is actually well, he's at, he is good and plus he's in the in the air one, the same as Jet Fuck, He is in the air, so I recommend getting lightning rod because um he can actually um do, like he can actually throw vaults at you, and plus he can like throw vaults at enemies, so he's actually pretty cool. And you can also, you can also send out like a, a little cloud full of lightning. So I recommend getting them. And plus, you can actually, um, you can actually do great stuff with this, like with with him. Because like, who not want a Skylander like him? Because he's actually awesome. So recommend getting him. He's actually my favorite as well. And you can also do loads more things, like send like a thunder strike down, and it'll all sizzle and kill all the enemies. So recommend getting. Him. Okay. Next Skylander, number seven, Eruptor. Because Eruptor is actually a good Skylander because, like, I've seen in like the forums that he's actually pretty good. Like, I've seen in like the unboxings and I've seen in, like, I've been unboxing him and I've seen on the back he's actually pretty good. He can, he can, um, do a lava bar if he can actually like, he like he can hold in his breath and he can shoot out fire like he can. Like fire, it's like a dragon. You can breathe fire, and he also can make a lava pool. Like, <laughs> so there's like a lava pool around him, and that and that kills enemies. And if you upgrade him, he can like uh, send out like little fire, like fire things. Like when you have the lava pool, like la like the lava lava little bomb balls thing, like the lava balls will come out and like get hurt the enemies if they're too far. So he's actually pretty good. Recommend getting him. He's in the fire element. And he's actually pretty pretty much worth getting, and he has 
spikes on his back as well. I don't know what they're, they're for, I think that's just an upgrade when you get it. And there's also a baby bar for Raptor for this guy as well. And there's also um, Jet Back. I, I don't know what the mini one is called, but recommend get getting the mini Jet Back and mini Raptor and a Raptor. Recommend getting a Raptor because he's my favourite as well. So, next guy under number six. Um, tomato like um I don't know um I don't know what his name is again. Well, I'll f figure out soon. Actually, one that tomato um tomato. So um like one that I'm gonna look out for a minute. Oh, food fight. So, um, I recommend getting food fight because he can actually shoot up tomatoes. And if you upgrade him, he can actually do loads more. He can like make a tomato cannon. And he's in the life element. This is a trap team character. So I thought I might put him in the video because he's actually really awesome. So, recommend getting food fight because you can you can actually do loads of stuff with him. He can actually, yeah, like I said, he can shoot up tomatoes. He can like. Do all that sort, he can food fight, like that's what his motto is, or no, that's what his name is. So, food fight, recommend getting, he's actually my favourite as well. Like, I played with, played with him when I first started playing Guylander, so I recommend getting food fight, he's awesome. So, recommend getting him, he's on, he only works for Trap Team, he can't work for, him for any other Skylander, except from like Trap Team and newer ones, newer games. So, anyway, next Skylander. No, number six. Wait, on it. Okay, number six. Stealth Elf, because Stealth Elf was actually my favourite until like um, she like I started going on to Trigger Happy and then Hot Dog, which you'll see in the video. So, um, uh, you'll see them both in the video. So, she's in the life element. She's a giant Skylander. She can work in the newer games, but not um, Spiral's Adventure. She can work in Spiral's Adventure, but you'll have to get um, series one of her. So, um, so recommend getting her. She can actually like um, make like some scarecrows that can stay still and they can spin around. And they're actually made of spikes. I think they're made of spikes. I haven't played the game in so much long. So, um, Stealth Elf can actually like with her knives. She can like spin around like that. She can do a little twirl, and she also can do like a f um, flip. So she's actually worth getting. Like I've seen, I've seen on the unboxings and I've seen the gameplays of her. She's actually pretty good. So recommend getting her. She has blue hair and she's my favorite as well. Recommend getting her. So number five, Gilgrunt. Like Gilgrunt is actually actually one that. So this is the fourth Skylander. Sorry, number four. Gilgrunt, because Gilgrunt is actually cool, like he can um, do like all sorts of stuff, he can um, shoot him, um, he can like, ha he has a little um, jetpack, like it's like jetpack, but um, he can actually shoot water from his back, so he's like flying, so I recommend getting him, he has like the little spear thing that you shoot, and they come out, like it's actually he's actually pretty cool, I played with him before, and he can actually do um, loads of cool cool stuff, cool moves and loads more. So he's actually um worth getting because I saw on the unboxings and gameplays that he is actually cool to get. He can do loads of things in the water element. He can like he can glide like he can glide like this and he can shoot and he can like shoot triple spikes so it's actually pretty awesome. He's actually pretty awesome so he's my favourite in the water element and he's worth getting so Definitely get him. He is awesome. So, next Skylander, Ninjini. So, Ninjini's actually pretty cool. I like saw on the gameplays. She's in the magic element. She's actually pretty cool. So, Sky Spider's not going to be in the video because I can't find him. So, um, 
and Genie worth getting because she can actually like turn into like a magic potion bottle and she can um do like she can like sneak up on enemies, shoot little like magic like magic stuff out of the bottle and then she can come back, boom, I'm back. So she basically can do loads of cool moves, loads of spin moves, loads of awesome moves. So worth getting her because like I've seen in the gameplays that she's actually pretty cool. I used her in the boss against um Chaos's mother and um, Swap Force. I'm not gonna spoil that, but um, sorry to spoil that. Just pause it or whatever. But um, uh, or I might cut out. I don't know. But worth getting Lin Genie. She's my favorite as well. She's my favorite as well. So worth getting her. Get 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 her, and she can actually. She actually has double swords as well. She can actually spin around on them. She can actually kill enemies, and she has like a hundred percent. Like she has a fifty percent attack damage. I think. Worth getting her. Okay, now next guy under number two, Trigger Happy. Now Trigger Happy was my best favorite because he can like has this little coin gun that you can shoot like many stuff up like. Like I always played with him every single day because he's actually awesome. He's in the um, tech element and he's worth getting. Like um, like he's not bad. He's not he's not good, but he's he's not bad. He's actually okay because he can. And do loads of awesome cool stuff. He was actually my favourite, but then I went on to um like stealth elf, actually stealth elf, then trigger happy, then hot dog, which you'll see in the video. So he's actually pretty much worth getting. So he sh shoots like coins out, and you can actually put the coin together, like the two guns together, and make a giant coin. And you can actually use the coin gun that you can see like right there. You can shoot out coins all together. So he's actually pretty cool of getting. He's like a tiger. And he's trigger happy, and um, he's worth getting. Really worth getting. That's all I can say. He's worth getting, and he's fifty percent attack damage. He's awesome. Now, last guy lander, number one, hot dog. Now, hot dog is like the most favorite Skylander I've always liked. Even when I've done unboxing of him, but I haven't really recorded it. I just wanted to unbox him anyway. So he's actually pretty cool, and plus he's lost his tail. Sorry about that. But he's actually really cool of getting. He can turn. He can like lay some doggy bags, so it's basically like a treat bag or a um, poo bag or whatever. But it has made a fire, so if the enemies walk over it, they can go boom. And plus, he can like shoot out little fireballs as well, like Eruptor. So he, he's in the fire element, so he's actually worth getting. Like he was actually twenty or fifty pounds for me. Like, like you wouldn't understand. Like he's fifty pounds because I got him with. I got him with um chop dog no way chop chop and I got him with the um, other thing as well where is that yeah I got him with chop chop so it's worth getting hot dog and chop chop will be in another video okay so he's worth getting this um guy because he's actually awesome he's a dog and he's hot dog so worth getting definitely get him he's really cool he can like do other stuff as well he can like um flip fireballs out of tail as well so worth getting favorite and he's awesome so guys that was my top 10 skylanders hope you've enjoyed subscribe to the common apple so slap an apple on that like button slap a golden apple on the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video comment down below for more top 10 skylanders so like the sh video and share for more. Bye guys. Apples, apples, ass and peace. Oh, and also forgot to say, I saw gameplays of him and I saw like a let's plays of him and he's actually pretty good. I saw on the back of the box as well. He's actually pretty awesome, so worth getting him. Go and get him.